I was asked to share my thoughts on my 2020 hair routine, whether it worked, whether I would change anything. And I was like, you know what, that's a good idea. I never go come back and tell you guys, you know, how my routine worked for the year. But I decided to take it up a notch and today we're gonna roast me. We're gonna see <laughs> whether I did what I said I was gonna do. Cause there's a really good chance I didn't cause I changed things throughout the year. So let's dig in. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the things I'm doing in my hair routine in 2020 that are gonna be consistent, that I am not gonna change for the entire year. I already lied. <laughs> I know, I haven't even watched this, but I know I changed things. I don't even know why I made that claim because I do my hair based on my feelings. <laughs> and in 2020 now, I don't need to do a big kind of chop like I did uh, for at the end of 2019. So I really do want to retain all the length that I have um, and that I'm going to grow. I be lying to myself all the time. I don't ever need to do no big chop. I just like keeping my hair at a certain length. But I have different plans for 2021, but I'm not gonna say them because I might lie accidentally. <laughs> so first things first, pre-pooing. I used to do this religiously and I still did it in 2019, but I wasn't religious about it. But now I'm gonna be consistently every single week when I do my hair the night before, which is what I used to do, I'm gonna do a pre-poo. And I'm gonna use two very, very specific things. Well, for the most part, I did actually. I would say a couple times a month, I would miss. But for the most part, I tried to be really consistent about pre-pooing, and I did. Um, I used the Just For Me pre-poo this year. I definitely used my aloe vera and coconut oil pre-poo the most, and I'll link my video with that. I did try some other ones just to try them because I knew I was pre-pooing, just to have fun. Um, but I think I, I think I did a pretty good job sticking to this, and I will definitely continue pre-pooing into the new year because it just works for me. And one thing I'm committed to doing this year is to make sure that I just hang on my hair before I use a cleanser. It's something I've done for years and it really, really works for me. To tangling my hair before I use a cleanser. So I did that, I would say for the first half of the year and then I became wishy-washy about it. I think a couple times a month I still do, but it just depends on the day, whether I'm filming, how I feel. I definitely always detangle um, within a wash session, but not always before. But I do find that if I detangle before, my wash day is quicker, so I should probably go back to doing that. But I also don't want to detangle dry hair. so. I never detangle dry hair, ever. I still hop in the shower and detangle, whether I do it before or after I cleanse. But I use rinse out conditioners for this step and I use them because I use a lot of conditioner and I use a detangling tool. Also, you guys know I love a good detangling tool. So in 2020, I'll continue to try new ones. I didn't try many new detangling tools. I pretty much stuck with the Cosmology brush after I found it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's worked so well. So I have definitely continued to use detangling brushes, but mostly Cosmology. I do intend to try a couple new ones in 2021, but I don't like trying a bunch of new brushes because I don't know how they'll work. I prefer to just use what will work. I've tried a lot of brushes and so I'm sticking with Cosmology because it's the best one I've found. For this detangling session, I'm trying out a new paddle comb. It is called the Cosmology Curls Plus Paddle Comb. And it's really... Isn't that funny? I was just trying the Cosmology brush in like January. And I don't think I did that video until like March. I tried it that long before I did a video. Um, but it's that good. So my hair is detangled and I'm gonna rinse that out and then cleanse my hair. And as you guys know, I cleanse my hair every single week because cleansing the hair is integral to allowing other product to penetrate the hair, getting the full benefits of the products you put on. Yeah, I still cleanse every week. I, that ain't ever gonna stop. <laughs> it just, it needs, my hair needs cleansing. Every week I will use a conditioner based on how I think my hair feels and what it needs. Yeah, I did that and I will always do that. 
I definitely deep condition my hair every single week. I use a steamer a couple times a month and then I use my hot head the other days. I tend to just use my hooded dryer for drying my hair. I don't really use it for deep conditioning ever. I don't know why, I just don't. Um, I bust out my hot head when I wanna use heat for deep conditioning. And I definitely tried some good protein treatments this year and I love the She Scented Okra one. And I just will always deep condition because it works so well to keep my hair healthy. And then the last part of the wash process is coat, cleanse, condition, coat. And so I am definitely committing to every time I wash using a leave-in conditioner. So sometimes I used to just go in with a styler, use gel, whatever. No way, Jose. In 2020, I am going to coat my hair in leave-in conditioner as the last step of my wash routine. Yeah, I did that. I pretty much always do that. There are a few exceptions where I use like a, a botanical gel um, because it just has the necessary film forming humectants. But I always use a leave-in if at all possible. I just find for my hair, it is very important to coat it right away. Um, and leave-ins just tend to have the ingredients that work for my hair. They have those film forming humectants and the proteins sometimes and just all the conditioning agents. So. I always use a leave-in. I will never stop doing that. And I'm coming on here. This is a three-day-old twist out to show you guys that I plan this year to refresh my hair in its entirety uh, in the middle of the week this year. I don't think I did that. <laughs> um, by that, I think I meant that I would like really add spray some kind of water, add a leave-in, and then restyle. I didn't do that. Um, I definitely moisturize my hair midweek every week. But I don't think I did the whole nine like I thought it would. And I don't know if I'll do that in 2021. That may be too much of a commitment for me because I'm like a moody hair person. <laughs> but um, I did definitely moisturize midweek and it's something I will continue to do. And of course, I'll wash my hair once a week as usual. I'm not a person who will, you know, go multiple weeks without washing my hair. I did actually wash my hair every single week. However, in 2021, I'm thinking of experimenting with washing my hair every two weeks, just because I like to try things. I haven't done it in years. So last but not least, the last thing that I'm gonna be consistent about in 2020 concerning my hair regimen is a hair vitamin. Normally, I wouldn't, but I wanted to see what kind of effect this would have. Y'all. <laughs> I, I didn't stick to that. I did stick to taking a multivitamin and I took biotin for like a month and then I stopped because I wasn't sure whether that was causing my skin issues. It turned out that wasn't it. Um, but I never picked the biotin back up, but I did pick up an iron supplement, the um, Mega Food Blood Builder. I did pick that up on recommendation of my doctor. And I don't know if that made a difference in my hair growth. It's just so hard to tell. Um, I didn't measure it, maybe I'll measure it at some point, but I've been taking them, so I don't know. Um, but I didn't stick to any kind of hair vitamin. This and, and that won't happen. But I take multivitamins every day. <laughs> so, <laughs> did I follow through on what I set out to do? I'd say for the most part, I did. Um, I had some unrealistic expectations for myself, but nonetheless, I did care for my hair with extra care as I usually do. Like I said in that video, it matters to me so I do take care of my hair. In 2021, I am planning to try a few different things. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I will share it with you all. And as usual, I will post a video once a week. I am changing my upload schedule, so make sure you stay tuned in 2021. But in the comments below, let me know how your regimen went for you this year. How did your hair fare? And what you're taking with you into 2021 and what you're leaving here in 2020. And until next time. Be well, be safe, and find a bit of joy in every day. Bye. I know my hair fared well. Um, I wish I could have gotten more trims by the hairstylist. If anything, this showed me that I just need to stop being lazy and do more trims myself <laughs> in 2021. Um, I do cut out my single strand knots when they happen, which this year with the afro, they, I had like a lot more than I normally would. But... At the same time, I also think I want to grow my hair to more of a blunt cut in 2021. But don't call me, I just be trying things, so we'll see. We'll see what happens.